Deep State in America. Everybody knows it exists. Now Israelis too. In this video we show how despite the fact that Israel faces the most friendliest US government ever, anti-Israel holdovers from the Obama administration in the American State Department continue to run a state of their own which adopts a policy of presenting a biased and distorted image of Jews and of Israel. Every year, the American State Department publishes an annual report that deals with the state of human rights in Israel. Prior to the publication, the State Department announces an open call to organizations and individuals to send any information they have regarding human rights violations in this region. Boomerang applied and received the State Department's permission to submit our data. We have been documenting attempts at harming Jewish civilians in Judea and Samaria throughout 2019. We organized the information in a comprehensive document that included more than 1,000 violent attacks by Arab Palestinians against Jews, specifying the date, time, location, and result of every one of them. We will begin reviewing the information and will be in touch with any questions was the answer we received after sending our report. So we waited, patiently. The State Department's report was published in March this year. And guess what? All the information we submitted regarding attacks against Jews was completely ignored. The report cited that there were 330 incidents of settler attacks that resulted in Palestinian fatalities, injuries, and property damage, while there were 101 incidents of Palestinians committing violent acts against Israeli civilians in the West Bank. Note the discrimination in terminology, whereas the results of the Jewish attacks are emphasized as fatalities, injuries, or property damage, incidents by Palestinians are described only as violent acts. The State Department relied on data submitted by the United Nations Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs, which is known for its biased attitude towards Israel. For example, an official Israeli police report shows that there were over 3,000 files opened by Jews who were attacked by Palestinians in the year 2018, an average of over 8 attacks per day. Yet the UN report for the same year claims there were only 181 such attacks. According to the IDF, which is the governing authority in this region, the numbers of human rights violations are even bigger than what we presented in Boomerang's report. 290 Molotov cocktail attacks and 1,469 stone throwing incidents during 2019. So we wrote to the State Department and politely asked. I would like to understand the criteria under which it is decided which information to include in the report and which information to leave out. And this was their reply. Our report is not intended to serve as a catalog of all alleged human right abuses in the given year, but rather a document which describes facts relevant to human right concerns. Over a thousand documented terror attacks aimed to murder Jews are not relevant to human right concerns according to some officials in the American State Department. So what are the relevant facts in the eyes of the State Department? Well, it appears that eight radical Israeli left-wing organizations, such as B'Tselem, Breaking the Silence, Rabbis for Human Rights, and others, all known for undermining Israel's legitimacy, were mentioned and quoted over 70 times in this 106-page report. B'Tselem, for example, proudly announces on its website that it strives to end Israel's occupation, a clear politically driven agenda. There's only one conclusion. The 2019 Human Rights Report by the American State Department is a biased and gross distortion of reality and places the lives and security of tens of thousands of Jews who live in Judea and Samaria in jeopardy. Now, it's crystal clear that this kind of attitude does not reflect President Trump and his administration, but rather a deep state within. Let's turn together to the president and ask him to correct this injustice and to continue his legacy of caring for the safety of the Jewish state. You can help reach President Trump by leaving a comment on his Twitter page. You will find the Twitter link and our proposed message added in the description of this video. You can also ask Secretary of State Mike Pompeo to change this report by leaving a message on the State Department's Facebook page. Link and message included in description. Thank you for watching.
I'm Ezri Tubi from Boomerang.